Make the distinction between yourself and the God that you believe in. So what do we do about that potential conflict between religion and divorce? This is Dr. Paul, author of Boomer Girls, A Boomer Woman's Guide to Men and Dating, and host of Ask Dr. Paul. We all have a certain belief system, whether it's a belief to not believe or a belief system that's more within the range of a particular religion. Regardless of what religion that may be, there may be some need for a justification for you to have made that divorce step, and some religions do not accept that. Mostly, your acceptance has to come from within and from that which you believe in, that greater spirit, the supreme being, whatever you choose to call that God that you're involved with, that's between you and your supreme being. The religion is there and they may have a certain belief system that you have believed in all your life. At that point in time, you need to make that justification. You may go talk to that leader of that religious group, whatever it may be, whatever religion it happens to be involved with, and rationalize and justify where you have been, where you are now, and where you are going. The most important thing, however, is to not carry guilt that may be associated with that. You don't need that, and no one wants you to have that. You know, forgiveness comes from within and from without, so you have to forgive yourself first. And you may not be the person who needs forgiveness, so you may have to divorce that person for a reason and then also forgive that person. It makes you feel better. This is Dr. Paul. May your fantasies of today be your realities of tomorrow.